Welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. In this episode, I finally get to play and review my thoughts on Star Wars Fallen Order. Unlike most critics, I really enjoyed Star Wars Battlefront 2. Now, what I mean by that is I really enjoyed the campaign version of the game. With Battlefront 1 only having multiplayer, I love this new edition of the campaign. With Fallen Order only being a story-based game, hell, sign me up. Developed by Respawn Entertainment and released by Electronic Arts, Star Wars Fallen Order was a surprise release from EA as a single-player game with very little to no microtransactions. The game is a single-player action-adventure game played in a third-person point of view with RPG elements in making your character stronger as you progress. The gameplay itself is your standard action game that reminds me very closely to the reboot of Tomb Raider series from Square Enix. When Laura climbs to where she needs to go, so does your character, just with a lightsaber, which of course is pretty cool. I did find it to be very similar to Tomb Raider's gameplay overall, but didn't have an issue with this as I love that series as well. It was easy for me to jump in without any awkward feelings on the controls. The visuals are gorgeous and screams out of big budget title. Every location has its own personality, even those that are barren. I was very impressed with the voice acting and character models as they kept me into the story that much more. The lore and writing is fun and whimsical as the character bickers at one another to keep dialogue fresh. BD1, this is Grace. Hey Grace. What is that? Get off my sofa! Get, get off my sofa! No! Get out of there! Get out! That is BD1. He's with us. I don't care who he's with. Do you have any idea how hard it is to get oil stains out of patchouli weed fabric? Not really. Oh, I hope you found something better out there than this droid. The sound and music is done well and also follows every scene and event with sound that is appropriate and doesn't overwhelm the player. The game itself runs on the long side though. Yes, even longer than your typical Tomb Raider where it looks like I'm comparing this game to. I feel that the story, while nice, can lead you on a wild goose chase around the galaxy trying to eventually take on the enemy. I understand the need for growth, but I feel that every time you accomplish something, anything in the game, something comes up and you have like 5 to 10 prerequisites before you can actually move on. This part of the game really takes me out of it for the most part and make me come back at a later time trying to finish the game rather than wanting to finish the game. I have placed inside this vault a Jedi holocron containing a list of the names and locations of young force sensitives throughout the galaxy. Ahead you will find the inner chamber of the vault but also another test. I can only trust this holocron to someone who has followed my path and understands. Seek out the hidden tombs of the three sages and learn to perceive the mysteries of the Force as the Zepho once did. In this droid, you will find everything you need to succeed on this journey. Don't get me wrong, for an action-adventure game, I didn't expect a game with the length of a role-playing game. However, the game itself is beautifully crafted with quality. The developers had fun and loved their craft and it shows. Star Wars Fallen Order gets an 8.5 out of 10 for its great action and adventure gameplay reminding of greats like Tomb Raider's reboot makes this game very easy to pick up and play with great story and writing. Although the quest you take is more of a task based side quest missions it does feel great that you do it all with force powers and a lightsaber. 
That's it for me on this review of Star Wars Fallen Order on Beho Reviews. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Beho out and Greg, take us out of here. You tell that bucket of balls to keep his opinion to himself. I'm sure everything's under control. Because it's under control, it's just a little tricky. <laughs> Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on! Oh. Huh, perfect landing. <laughs> Crazy man. Damn.